Uh, I want to thank uh, all the uh, um, uh, Purpose Over Pain families. Uh, these are family members who have lost their loved ones. Uh, they're still hurting today. Uh, this is very difficult for them, again, to have another press conference and uh, speak out uh, dealing with the code of silence, but they want to do it. Uh, uh, they want to share th their loss with our community and to prevent another loss, another family uh, from losing a child. Uh, and to me, uh, we talk about people that you know you respect and look upon, and all of us try to figure out who they are, but the people uh, to my left and to your right are the ones right behind me uh, are the real heroes of our city. Uh, they've taken a situation in their life and turned it to a very negative situation, and they turn it around to try to educate and inform people and try to protect another generation of our children. So I'm very, very grateful they're here and the things they've done. Going to Springfield and, and present, you know, about common sense gun laws and what violence is doing to all of our communities. And they go to Washington and sometimes they're heard and sometimes they're not heard. Uh, but again, it doesn't, doesn't matter. They're gonna stick to the cause of trying to uh, prevent another child from being killed or seriously injured. And of course, the faith base is the key. That's one thing the faith base has to understand. Uh, this issue uh, is an issue that uh, we should all come together about common sense gun laws. I always tell people about it. You know, people are really visibly and emotionally and physically upset if you ever smoke a cigarette in front of them or go to a restaurant or anything else. I mean, they're upset. Uh, why are people upset when children get killed on a daily basis in America? Why aren't they upset when a child gets seriously injured by gun violence? Yes. What is it? What, what is it going to take America uh, to really realize that just common sense gun laws, we don't need all these guns. We don't need all this ammunition. Uh, and, and so that's the thing that really, uh, really I look at and I wonder why. Why are people so afraid to talk about common sense gun laws? Someone said the other day, well, you know, Politicians are afraid because, gee, they're not going to get elected or they're afraid of the National Rifle Association. But wouldn't you rather protect your child uh, 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 from gun violence yourself uh, than uh, just in, in, instead of speaking out against it and just be so silent? The code of silence even represents politicians. That's right. Why can't they really believe in it and just stand out? There's a code of silence among politicians, Democrats and Republicans. Mm -hmm to say we need common sense gun laws, and, and, and it should be. But I know people have difference of opinion, they wanna run away from this issue, but you're not gonna run away too far. And to me, uh, any gun violence, any type of violence against our young people is the most troubling, frustrating challenge I think our city, city faces. It's very troubling and it's complex, but it's very easy. Someone has a gun, someone uses it, and some, their son or their brother or sister or cousin or just a friend is dead and that's it, or seriously injured. I will not rest until what, uh, until we've done all we need to do it. It really is stop it some way. For years, we have joined thousands and thousands of people against all type of marches and rallies, which are really important, uh, uh, just to have, have people coming out and be aware of it. The Chicago Police Department has stepped to all new strategies, gang, drugs, gun violence. Police officers are seizing more and more guns on a daily basis, so take that gun away and it's not gonna be used against an innocent party. And, and so that is the issue. 2009, the homicides were down by 10.5% from previous years. The number of uh, homicides involving young people were down 24%, while shootings were down 9%. But remember, one murder is one too many, one shooting is one too many. So you go on that basis, so you're, you, just that one child is just one too many. I mean, let's think about it. And that's good news, but it's a little comfort to those who have lost loved ones, or those who have lost a loved ones even today. One of the most troubling parts of the violence against our young people is the code of silence in many, in, in most communities, I'd say, that protects the gang bangers and drug dealers who are killing our children, and especially young people. You know, if you know someone has a gun in a school or someone has a gun at home and you're friends with them, uh, something's gonna happen. You're gonna get in an argument. That child's gonna get in an argument. That child will run home. Child will run in the car and grab a gun, and fire the gun, and then you know what happens. Then everybody's upset. Why did it take place? And so I call upon everyone. This code of silence should end because that could be your brother and sister who's the victim or your brother or sister who's the offender. In, lives are ruined forever. So we try to 
really educate people it must end. Uh, everybody takes some responsibility. And I'm joined, uh, and I pointed out earlier, by the parents and loved ones who have lost their children because of violent acts uh, against innocent people. We are announcing the start of a campaign to address the code of silence. It is called the Silence Kills. It is aimed at raising the awareness of devastating impact the code of silence has on families in every community, on every, on every single resident of our great city. The campaign includes television radio spots, print media in which uh, which strong people who have lost so much so much, to share a personal and powerful message with their fellow residents. Stop the violence, stop the silence, silence kills. The campaign has been made possible by a grant of $500,000 from the Federal Economic Stimulus Program, through which Chicago has already received more than $1.8 billion to create jobs, repair infrastructure, and many other ways to improve the quality of life of our residents. With this three-year grant, we will be able to undertake the Silence Kills marketing campaign and fill a full-time position within the CAPS program dedicated to working with public schools, the police department, community-based organizations, faith-based organizations, young people, to develop and carry out steps that addresses the code of silence among our young people. The campaign will include community forums all across the city to talk about this problem. We will train young people to carry the message into their communities and their families. The idea of the campaign, as you will see, uh, will see very soon, is to personalize and personalize the code of silence for every Chicagoan through the stories of people who have lost their children to senseless violence. I can't thank, uh, I can't thank them enough for their willingness, this is very difficult, their willingness to help us carry this message into every community and for their commitment to making this a city in which other parents won't suffer the loss they have already endured. Nothing is more painful or tragic than losing a child. I can't emphasize how important it is for all residents of Chicago to accept the responsibility to keep our children safe. If you know about a crime, report it. If you know who is involved in a crime, report them. Something as simple as using a cell phone to report a crime can solve a crime. And there are many ways in which people can safely and anonymously uh, report crime and criminals, including through the religious leaders and faith-based organizations. I pledge that we'll never give in to the gangbangers and drug dealers who, who basically perpetuate the violence and don't care, and they don't care about whether people live or die, and they don't care who they are. They could know them for a long time, for their entire life. They just don't care. They'd rather murder our children than have their profit and power taken away from it. This is all about money, and it's all about drugs. Right. Today, I want to urge the television and radio stations and the print media and cable stations and all other forms of uh, communication, our city, to run these announcements and spread the message that silence kills. Uh, again, I want to challenge every person in Chicago to end the code of silence. It is our sure responsibility as Chicagoans and as Americans to get the city's most troubled kids on the right track, away from the gangs in the first place, to better protect every student from violence in school or outside of school, on their way to and from school or in their community or in their family, to engage young people in positive activities and provide their mentors and positive role models they need. And that's why I keep meeting and marching with faith-based and community organizations and, and families who have lost loved ones day and night all across the city. We need your ideas, and everyone uh, should become part of ending violence in their home, on their block, uh, in their church areas, in their schools, in their communities. Thank you very much.